Hey everybody, it's Paige and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. Today's video is going to be part two to my December makeup declutter. If you guys haven't seen part one, I will link it down below. In part one, we went through primers, concealers, powders, and foundations. Today, we are going to be going through some eye products. So I have my brow drawer right here. We're gonna start with this. I'm gonna go through my mascaras, my pigments and glitters and liquid shadows and shadow sticks and things like that. I also wanna try to go through my lashes as well. There's gonna be a lot of condensing done in this unit right here. This is the Alex 9 drawer unit from Ikea. I need to combine two units into one, so I'm gonna try to stick to half the drawers in this unit. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. So here's my brow drawer. I have brow pencils as well as some brow gels in here. We've got potted brow products, brow palettes, more brow gels, and then extra benefit brow products in the back. So we got a lot in here and probably a lot that we can declutter. So I'm going to start with this little basket right here. Um, I'm going to kind of fast forward for a second just to organize things and then we'll kind of go through category by category. Okay, so first we're gonna go through all of my Benefit products in this drawer. So I'm gonna set this new one back here just because that's where the rest of my new Benefit products are. So let me grab a bunch of these because I definitely have several duplicates, which is okay for some products, but not all of them. So I think these are all of my Benefit products that are open and in this drawer. So a few of these are pens and pencils and other things. We have three of these, which I don't even know what this is. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is the Benefit Highbrow. Um, this is kind of like a pencil highlighter, like a cream pencil brow highlighter. Uh, I have a couple different shades here. There's like a creamy one and a luminous one. So. We are going to keep these, but if we come across, um, you know, new ones back here, I definitely will not be keeping them. I think two of these are the same though. So I have luminous, creamy, and another creamy, and they look like the same color to me. So I think I'm just going to keep one luminous, one creamy, and I will declutter the other creamy. Next, we have this, which is the brow styler. I don't think they sell this anymore. It has a brow pencil on one side, and then this is like some sort of brow powder on the other, um, but I don't know. For some reason, I feel like they don't sell that anymore, so I'm just gonna set that aside for now, and I will double check on that. I have the Micro Bleeding Brow Pen, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, as well as a Mini Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Um, the Mini is in the shade three. This one is also in the shade three. I will go ahead and declutter the mini and I will just keep these two. I have the Precisely My Brow Pencil, which is one of my all-time favorite brow pencils, along with the Brow Bravo Conditioning Primer, and I will be keeping that as well. I love Benefit products, so I just wanna have like one of each and that's good for me. Next, we will look through all of these e.l.f. brow products because I know there's quite a few of these pencils in here. So I have one of the e.l.f. Ultra Precise brow pencils. I will be keeping this because I really enjoy that brow pencil. Um, but then I have a bunch of these brow pencils. So I have this one here, which is in the shade Neutral Brown. I have the shades Neutral Brown, Taupe, and Blonde. I'm pretty sure Blonde. Yeah, this is definitely not gonna work for me. So Blonde is gonna go. This one will work. And this one will also work. Both of these are good shades for me. And I'm tempted to keep this one. 
I mean, I don't need to keep it. I, like, I definitely could see myself using it in the future, but we have a lot of brow products. So even though that's my shade, I already have that shade open. So I will pass that along. It's like $2, so I can repurchase it when the time comes. I am going to keep my Huda Beauty as well as my Kosas brow pencils. I really enjoy both of those. I have a few pencil brow pencils. <laughs> Like ones that you have to sharpen and honestly, that's not really something I do very often So um, these ones are from LA colors. I have three shades. I definitely don't need three of them So we've got medium which I can declutter and then we've got dark brown and espresso I guess like I'll just keep the dark brown just to have that brand It's always good to have for videos and I will declutter the two of them keep the one shade Next, this Glossier brow flick is so old, <laughs> it needs to go. I have this one here from J uh, Believe Beauty. I don't know what I was about to say, but it was not right. Um, this is from Believe Beauty. This is the brow defining pencil. I will go ahead and keep that. I have a few of these Morphe pencils, which again, this is one of my favorite brow formulas. And... Um, I really enjoy this product, but it is more affordable, so I don't, if these are all the same shade, I definitely don't need all of them. We have hazelnut, biscotti, latte, and latte. Oh, so these are actually different brow pencils. Some of them are micro brow pencils, and some of them are the definer brow pencils, so I am actually going to keep all four of those, which I know is a bit excessive, but I'm going to do it because I want to. <laughs> We have some drugstore ones in here. These two are from Wet n Wild. I know I said I don't use like ones that you need to sharpen very often, but it is nice to have a drugstore option. So I have dark brown and medium brown. I'm not sure which shade I am. I am going to keep the shade dark brown and declutter medium brown. Then we have Revlon, um, Rimmel, and L'Oreal. These are all different pencils, different formulas, and I do like to have this on hand, so I will be keeping those. Um, we have a brush from Patrick Ta, which I will keep. And then I have some Charlotte Tilbury, ABH, and Hourglass. The Hourglass one is amazing. I definitely am keeping that. I have the ABH Brow Wiz as well as the Brow Definer. So this is the skinnier, like, fine tip pencil, and this is the larger one. And then we have the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift, which, again, I will be keeping. And then I also have these little backups of the Brow Lift and the Brow Cheat from Charlotte Tilbury, which, again, I will be keeping. So let me kind of put these back in here and organize them as best as I can. All right, so there are the ones that I am keeping, and then here are the ones that I am decluttering. All of these need to go. Then we've got brow gels over here, <laughs> and this is like overflowing, so let me like take these out, I guess, and we will work our way backwards for this one. All right, so for brow gels, we've got a lot going on here. Um, I have some brow gels and some other ones. My Morphe Clear Brow Gel, I'm definitely keeping. I love that stuff. I have actually a few of them, but I will be keeping all of them. This one is from Essence. This is a tinted brow gel. This is pretty old, so that needs to go. I have a bunch of these little ABH brow gels, which I got these for like 100 point perks or something. Let me open one and just see if it's even like still viable because these I know are pretty old. Um, yeah, there's still some good product in there. So I'll just keep one and I will declutter these two. Even though I really love this brow product, I just don't need like three of the same one. You know, when I have so many other ones <laughs> that I'm going to be keeping. So those can go. We've got the NYX brow glue. I really enjoy that brow gel. Same with the Kosas brow gel. I have two of the Glossier Boy Brows. Again, these are pretty old. I'm, I have like a clear one and a tinted one. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter both of these just because, like I said, they're getting pretty old. I have the Brow Sessive Clear Brow Gel from Wet n Wild that I will keep. This one is from Rimmel. This one is tinted. Um, let me go through my clear brow gels first and then we'll do tinted because most of the time I wear clear but occasionally I will use a tinted brow gel. My longer clear brow gels that don't fit um, in this little section over here, I'm just gonna set them to the side here. So we've got like the Laura Mercier and the Elf. This one, mm, I'm gonna, I can declutter this. I can always repurchase it, it's fine. <laughs> I already have one here that is pretty new, so we should be good for a little bit. Then we have, I think the Charlotte Tilbury one is translucent if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, clear brow gel from Charlotte Tilbury. I have a little brow pencil thing from Morphe that I'm going to keep. I'll keep the tinted Rimmel and then the tinted, this brand, Charlotte Tilbury, and then the tinted Benefit. So I have three tinted ones, the rest of them are clear. Back here we have some more Benefit products. So let's take a look at what we have here. I have some of these gimme brows. I have a little mini, which I don't need. I have the shade three and the shade four. I guess those can stay. I have the Cabral, which is brand new. So I will keep that one. And then I have the brow powder, which again is very new. So. I will keep that as well. Next, we've got some other things like intertwined here. So this is the Browsings Pro Palette. This is really cool. <laughs> and I really like the packaging. I've never used it though. Do I need this? No, I don't need it. That one hurts to let go, but I do not need it. This is from Lottie London. This is the clear brow like soap, I think. So this is a brow wax, a clear brow wax. So I do wanna keep that one. I'm just gonna set it there for now. This is from Patrick Ta. This is the clear one, I think. I think I only have the clear one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the clear one. Then over here we have a couple of e.l.f. palettes, which I will be keeping. I'm gonna keep the ABH Brow Freeze. Um, we have some more of these little pencils, which I don't need this many. I'll keep one of each color. We've got highlighter stick, define me, and oh brow baby. So I'll keep these three and declutter these two. I've got a Morphe brow powder as well as this KVD brow like pomade. I have a couple of ABH brow pomades. Let me take a look at these. And then I also have a few Morphe shades as well. So we have dark brown and blonde. Blonde is definitely not my color and it looks really dried out. So I will declutter blonde. But I am going to keep dark brown from ABH. And then I have three Morphe. I have Latte, Latte, and Hazelnut. I'm pretty sure Hazelnut is going to be too light for me. So that one can go... And then let me see if either of these Morphe ones are used. I guess I'll keep one latte and declutter the other. All right, and then finally, we have all of this stuff back here, which I'm gonna have to get to by moving this. Oh my gosh, you guys. There is so much back here. Look at this. This is, this is unheard of. Oh my, what the heck? I did not know I had all of this. This is an entire freaking Ulta of Benefit brow products that I didn't know I had. Oh my gosh. All right, well, <laughs> this is like scary. So I've got some gimme brows here. These are all in shade three and 3.5. Um, I will declutter these two threes. I'll keep these two for now. Um, this is cool. We're gonna have tons of brow products to pass along. Um, the 24 hour brow setter is probably my favorite brow gel. So I'm gonna set both of those aside for now. Oh, we have another one. We have a couple of the micro filling brow pens. I will keep one and I will declutter the other. We have two goof proof pencils. Both in the shade three, I will keep one. No, I'm gonna declutter both of them. <laughs> both of those can be decluttered. And then all of these are precisely my brow pencils. 
in a bunch of different shades so um let me look through these these three are all in the shade three so um maybe i will keep one of them and we'll set that there what other shades do we have four 4.5 3.75 3.75 i don't need because it's warm toned um we have another three that i'll declutter 3.5 i will keep all the way um four is warm deep brown and 4.5 is neutral deep brown so i'll keep neutral deep brown and declutter warm deep brown <laughs> so we've got three 3.5 and 4.5 and then we've got some of these 24 hour brow setters <sighs> I can't keep all three, so I'll, I'll keep two and declutter one. And then we've got a micro filling brow pencil. And then for the gimme brows, I already have a couple of them. I have the shades three and four, so I will declutter the shade three and I will just keep 3.5. So that was really good. That was so many brow products, you guys. Okay, let me reorganize this drawer and then I will show you what we are decluttering from this drawer. You know what? I'm not even going to keep this gimme brow because I have two of them already open and I don't really use tinted brow gel very often. So that one can actually go as well. <laughs> so we will slide this back in here and it looks like things are good to go. So here is the after of the drawer. Let me get everything together and show you guys an overview of everything that we are decluttering from this drawer. All right, guys, so here are all of the brow products that I am decluttering from that first drawer. This is a ton. We, we have three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like full size, brand new benefit products that I'm decluttering along with everything else. So I'm very happy with this drawer. I think I did really good. <laughs> I had no idea I had that much benefit stuff. So let's move on to mascaras. All right, guys, so here is my mascara drawer. This is uncalled for. We've got mascara, lash glue, tools, and primers, like eye primers in here. So, oh my gosh, this is so overwhelming. Um, I think, I think I might fast forward through this mascara part and just kind of give you an overview at the end of the mascaras that I'm keeping versus what I'm decluttering, so. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, so I just went through my mascaras. Here is what I am keeping. Um, all of these are unopened, like, they might not be in a cardboard packaging, but they have never been, like, twisted and opened. So, this is where I'm at. I have a lot, but let me show you what I'm decluttering. I also have a bunch of these little ones back here. Well, a bunch, meaning five. I have five minis back here. So, as for minis, I think I'm getting rid of four. So, these four are going. I have a few unopened ones that are like in the packaging i have the milk um lash primer which i just don't use lash primer which is why i'm decluttering that and then i have the elf big mood mascara which i do enjoy but i have one open currently so i can get rid of that i have a couple of lily lashes products this is mascara and an adhesive eyeliner i don't really wear lashes too often so i don't need that um, Laura Mercier Caviar Mascara, I have this one here, so I don't need two. I have the Kush from Milk and the Ciate that I'm going to go ahead and declutter. I have one from Believe Beauty. I have a couple of these limited edition Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascaras, which need to go. Those are super, super old. I love the packaging, but... They're just so old. And then I'm also getting rid of these five mascaras. So <laughs> here are all of the like full size mascaras that I'm decluttering. There's a lot here. There's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 full size mascaras are going. 
Next, we've got lash glues and like primers and things like that. So I have a Gucci, Gucci uh, eye gloss that I'm gonna keep. I have this liquid sugar that I'm gonna keep. This is adhesive, lash adhesive. There's no way I'm gonna be using that. <laughs> That's gonna go. I have a glitter adhesive from ABH. I have the Duo Lash Glue, which is super old, and then a Lily Lashes Lash Glue, which again, is pretty old. So those two can go. So in here, we just have a couple of like glitter adhesives, pigment adhesives, and this gloss. Up here, we have eyeshadow primer. So I have a bunch of these, and I definitely don't need them all. I'm gonna get rid of these NARS ones, just because I don't really feel like I use those very often. Um, I have Urban Decay, which I will keep. I have this pink P. Louis, P. Louise base that I will keep. I also have the blank canvas from P. Louise that I'd like to keep. This one from Profusion, I will go ahead and declutter. I have two from ABH, which I don't need two, so I'll just keep one, but I think I will keep one. I don't know. That one's kind of messy i remember these exploding when i ew yeah no these are going <laughs> the packaging sucks on these so both of those are actually being decluttered i have one from alamar cosmetics which i can keep i have a kaleidos one which i would like to keep and then i have the translucent and the black eyelid primer from morphe which i would also like to keep so we're keeping these ones, decluttering one, two, three, four, five, five eyeshadow primers and three lash glues. Over here, oh, we have some more products. These are from Morphe. I guess I'll go ahead and slide those back there. We have a bunch of tools and stuff. I have a little mixing palette. So I'm just gonna look through here really quick, see what I can keep and what I can get rid of, and I'll be back. Okay, so I have a lot of like tweezers and scissors and lash applicators and things like that. I'm just going to go ahead and keep all of those because those are all good. Tweezers are something you can never have too many of because I lose them all the time. Um, but I am getting rid of a few extras. Then we have some sharpeners down here which I will keep. And then we have some potted eyeshadow primers, which is typically what I go for when I use an eyeshadow primer. So we have one from MAC. This is the shade, I don't know what shade this is called, <laughs> Soft Ochre. So I definitely want to keep that. I currently use Painterly from MAC and I really, really like it. So we have Rose from e.l.f. We have another Rose from e.l.f. And we have cream from elf so i'll keep one cream and one rose these elf ones are supposed to be like dupes for the mac i don't think that they're dupes but i do think they are a decent like cheaper alternative so i'll declutter the older like more used up dried out rose from elf and i will keep the newer one so here is my mascara and tool and primer base drawer <laughs> looks a lot better there's still a lot in here but again all of these mascaras are unopened so you know they last longer than they would if they were open so that drawer is done next we have um pigments and shimmery glitter things which if i'm being honest i'm not going to be getting rid of a ton from here but there's still some stuff that i want to get rid of so let me move the camera down and we will kind of quickly go through this because otherwise we're going to be here all day if I go through every single shade. Okay, so we have pigments. I have Makeup a Murder pigments. I have some MAC glitters. These ones are from, what brand are these from again? Touch and Soul. I forgot I had these. I honestly forgot I had these, so... <laughs> We're just gonna stick those back there. Um, I have some uh, like glitters and liquid activated liners back here. 
some eye candy glitters. This is from Too Faced. This is from the Nikki Tutorials collab. I really only have this because it's like a collector's piece now. Um, I have some With Love Cosmetics. Morphe liners, um, Makeup Forever, ABH, I have a NYX glitter randomly, and a CoverGirl. I'll declutter this CoverGirl one. Sarzar I am going to keep, um, and then all of these ColourPop ones I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. This was like a Kathleen Lights collection, and they just, I just don't use these. So, um, all of those are gonna go this um like glitter adhesive does not look good anymore so that's gonna go and then i think there's still a few color pop pigments back here wow some of these are so pretty <gasps> this one is beautiful that like stands out to me maybe i'll keep that one and the pink one that is not from color pop um, or it is from ColourPop, but it's not from the Kathleen Lights collection. So, yeah, we'll do that. Do these fit in here? Mm, not really. I have these ColourPop glitters, which realistically, I don't need these. So, um, I'm if there's a super special one, I'll keep it. But if not, I'm just going to declutter them. Okay, like this one is Animal Crossing, and I don't think I'm ready to declutter that one. Uh, these are the Lizzie McGuire ones. Again, I kind of want to keep those ones, but all of these minis, which I had six of them, these are going plus these two, like, big ones. All right, so here's the after of the drawer. I was able to slide it forward, um, and now that I did that, I can see this ColourPop liner, probably never, oh, probably never going to use this. <laughs> so this ColourPop liner can go. Um, I have these little glitters, which probably I won't use, so that can go, and then I will scooch these forward a little bit. Okay, that's better. Um, this one can go too. Alright, anyway, um, here's the after. I'm pretty happy with it, so... I can see everything better. I just kind of set these bigger ones up here so that I could slide it forward and see everything now, which makes me very happy. So this drawer is done. Next, we have this one, which is kind of a nightmare. This, we have a lot of work to do on this drawer, so let's get started on this. Just to give you guys like a little update, we have that drawer. We have this drawer, which is like empty palettes and like custom like makeup like paint kind of stuff and then I'm pretty sure the bottom four drawers are lashes is this lashes yeah this is lashes I'm pretty sure the bottom four drawers are lashes I don't need four drawers of lashes since I hardly ever wear them anymore so let's get started on my shadow sticks and liquid shadows and singles and things like that all right guys so here we have this drawer this is a lot I'm feeling overwhelmed um Let's just, let's just dive in. Um, these Norbina cake liners I'm going to keep. I have like the two little stacks of them. So I'm going to set those aside up here. Um, we have this whole section of like glitter, steel glitters and stuff, which I'm pretty sure probably all of the steel ones are dried out. So these four are going to go. I just, actually, I recently got this one like in October, so maybe, no, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna keep that one. <laughs> I'll declutter these three minis though. I have a few of these elf ones, which I'm also gonna keep, and then probably all of these Koki ones I won't be keeping. So, unless there's like a super cool shade um, these two I'm going to declutter, this one I'll declutter, this one, this one, so these oh, five I'm going to declutter. These two are really pretty, so I would kind of like to keep them. Um, over here, I'm going to speed through this part and show you guys what I'm decluttering at the end. Okay, 
Okay, so I have Charlotte Tilbury in here now. I have an elf one, and I have two, oh no, not Charlotte Tilbury. I have Laura Mercier in here now, two Charlotte Tilburys, and this elf one. I have to go through and check for duplicate shades. So we've got Magnetic Pink, Rose Gold, Intense Moonlight, Amethyst. We've got Eau Natural. We've got Moonlight. We've got Rose Gold and Rose Gold. So I have three Rose Gold ones. So I will declutter two of them. Where's the first one? Two of these are unopened and one of them is open. So these two are gonna be decluttered. I also already pulled out all of these. So this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil is so freaking old. <laughs> This is a Bobbi Brown one that I'm just going to declutter. Nude sticks, I'm going to declutter. Two pixie and two elf ones. The elf ones are already dried up, so. Um, I also wasn't a huge fan of this formula to begin with, but I am going to keep this gold one here just to have an elf one because otherwise the only shadow sticks I have are Laura Mercier or Charlotte Tilbury. So just to kind of have like a little bit of a price situation. Um, actually, I think these two are the same color. They're both used, so I'll keep one and declutter the other. Uh, the, this one is staying, the elf one. And then I have all of these Laura Mercier that I'm gonna look through and look for color duplicates. So I will be right back. All right, so I went through and I found a few duplicates, four full size and one mini, another mini duplicate. So those five are gonna be, oops, <laughs> decluttered. This one doesn't wanna go. <laughs> and that is these first two containers done. Now we will move on to this one back here, which just has a bunch of like liquid shadows and things. This Suva product I'm going to put up here with my other Suva liners. Once again, I think I'm just gonna speed through this part and then update you at the end. I completely forgot I had these glitter mascara top coats from Sephora. So I'm gonna keep those. I'm gonna keep this Huda Beauty like matte and metal eyeshadow thing. Um, these Kylie ones are pretty new. This KVD one is new. Um, I have these Pixie ones. Probably not gonna use these though. So the Pixie ones can go. This Urban Decay one I will keep. These Morphe ones are gonna go. I just don't really see myself using these colors. I have quite a few of these Fenty ones. Um, they're pretty old, so I'm gonna declutter all of these Fenty ones. These Revlon ones are kind of cool, so I think I'll keep those. Um, I have these Natasha Denona ones, which I popped up here, but I will keep those along with these two little milk makeup things. These Kesha and Hip Dot liners, I'm going to go ahead and declutter. And then these, all three of these, I'm going to declutter. We have Tarte, Revlon, and Glossier. Okay, looking good, looking good. Next, we have all of these e.l.f. Bite Size palettes, which I'm just going to keep all of these because they're really good to have in videos. Up here, I have all of these Bodyography pigments. These are amazing, but they're so old, so... They need to go. Oh, I forgot I put these up here. These are supposed to be keep products. <laughs> um, all of these bodyography ones need to go. We've got Morphe 2, which is pretty new. And then I have some Kylie oh, bodyography and then some Kylie ones, which again, these three are going to go. I think I'll try. Uh, they're not going <laughs> to all fit. Almost all of these elf ones fit in here. <laughs> um, the Morphe 2 I will keep. This Revlon is probably a color that I'm not going to use, so I will declutter that. I have these Natasha Denona ones that I want to keep. This MAC single is pretty new. Charlotte Tilbury I'm going to keep. This is a single black eyeshadow from Laura Mercier. Um, I have all of these from Believe Beauty, which 
I just don't really use these anymore. I completely forgot I had them. So I'm gonna declutter all of these guys right here because I just don't use them. I have some single shadows from Laura Lee, which I do not need, so those can go. And finally, back here, we have some more single shadows, it looks like. We have a Dose of Colors one, which is so pretty, but I don't need it. We've got this one from Kaja. This is actually really pretty, so I think I will keep that. This MAC one needs to go in like a memory box, but I already packed that up to go into storage, so we're just gonna keep it for now. I have some Marc Jacobs ones back here that I'm going to keep, and then I have a bunch of Urban Decay. <laughs> Toasted needs to go in that memory box. This one is called Lounge. I would like to put that one in the memory box. This one is Narcotic. This is a really pretty blue color, but I have a ton of blues now, so I don't really need that one. This one is Lithium. I will keep this one. I'm gonna keep, and Scratch is really pretty, but mm, probably don't need it. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Scratch, but then keep the rest of these. So here's the after of the drawer. I gotta go move this stuff because it's all about to avalanche down from up here. But I think we did really good. Um, we cleared out a lot. I feel like, you know, once I move, I could probably reevaluate this and maybe even get rid of more, but I'm happy with where I'm at now. So this drawer is now done. Next we have this drawer, which, um, Let's see. I don't need these little gems, like these little stickers. This is an empty palette, which I'm gonna keep. This is an empty palette, which I'm gonna keep. This, I'm gonna keep. Um, these little Kaduka Beauty paints, I can pass along since I have these colors elsewhere. So those can be decluttered, but I'm gonna keep my J Cat, my makeup forever this can be thrown away um and then my mayron i think that's how you say it <laughs> uh palette and then those are just empty ones so this drawer is good to go next all we have left is lashes and we have lots to go through so this should be fun all right guys so i have a bunch of lash drawers here's the first one here's the second one <laughs> Here is the third one, and then, what's in this bottom drawer? Oh, even more lashes, that's just great. Okay, so, let's start up here. So in this drawer I have a ton of D-Star lashes, which, D-Star lashes, if you guys have been around on my channel for a while, you know that if I wore lashes, they were D-Star lashes, and um, I loved these so much, and I kind of slowly got out of wearing lashes, just out of like personal preference overall. Um, and so I kind of don't have like a huge need for these. So I'm gonna go through these. I'm still keeping some because I still stand by that these lashes are freaking incredible, but, but I have too many. For, I, I don't need four drawers of lashes for someone who wears lashes a couple times a year. Um, so we are gonna go through these lashes. First off, we have Angelina. These ones are very dramatic, very intense. Um, I probably won't wear this style, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter both of those. Next up, we have Baby Girl, which I really like this style, but I don't need this many of them, especially since these lashes can be worn like 25 plus times. They're reusable. You just got to clean them. Um, so I'm going to keep maybe two, maybe for now. We'll kind of relook at everything at the end, but I'll keep two and I will declutter three. We have Barbara Jean, which is a pretty intense lash that I probably won't wear. We have Bernadette, which is really pretty, but again, probably won't wear. We have Bianca, which is gorgeous. Oh, the Icy Collection, I remember these. By the way, these are all uh, brand new, never used, so. 
literally tons and tons of lashes. Um, so I'll keep one Bianca and declutter the other. We have Chanel, which is a very dramatic and intense, so I will pass that one along. Crystal is one of my favorites. So let's see. I guess I'll keep two of Crystal for now, and I will declutter these four. Next we have Daisy, which is another one of my all-time favorites. We have a random Grace sprinkled in there. I'll go ahead and pass on Grace. These are all Daisy. By the way, my drawer is stained pink from bath bombs, I'm pretty sure. So we have a bunch of Daisy. Um, I will keep a few of them, but I didn't really need this many. I guess I'll keep three for now and I will declutter these seven. Next we have Deborah, which is literally another one of my all time favorites. So um, let me see how many of these I have. Okay, I'll keep three Deborahs and pass along three Deborahs. Next we have Destiny, which is the owner of D Star Lashes. Um, these ones are in here like. Um, or I guess this is just upside down. I will keep one of Destiny and declutter the other just because they are pretty intense and You know, we're trying to keep things small here. I'm already kind of feeling like this is too many, but It's fine. Uh, these ones are called equality. This is part of the pride collection that she came out with a few years ago So pretty. I think I'll keep one Grace is so stunning. We'll keep those two of Grace we have Honey, which is a pretty intense lash, so I will pass those along. And then we have Jacqueline, which is one of my favorites once again. I think I will keep three of them, and I will pass these two along. Okay, so here's what we have left. I would say we got rid of like two-thirds of what we had. Next, we have this drawer um so in here um I ha i'm gonna take out the ones that aren't d star lashes which are these and we will get to those in a second but oh this one too but the rest of these are d star lashes so let's move on to this drawer all right so here we are at the next d star lashes drawer um i'm not sure what these ones are um, but we have a few more Jacqueline's here, which I'm going to pass along. I kind of changed the angle a little bit so that you guys could see a bit better, hopefully. Um, next we have Camilla, which is probably, like, one of my most worn <laughs> lashes from D-Star Lashes. So, I'll probably keep the most of these. We've got four... Five, six. I'll keep six Camilla lashes <laughs> and I'll declutter these four. Um, we've got a random Britney lash, which I will keep. We've got Kimberly. I have a few of these. I have two in the shade Love and two in the shade Love Wins. These are just styles that I probably won't wear, so those ones can go. We have Morticia, which I'm going to declutter. We've got Mrs. Claus. These ones I'm also going to declutter because they're pretty intense. We have some candy cane, which I really like these candy cane ones, but I probably won't wear those. <laughs> And then we have Paige Lashes. I did a collaboration with them, and I have a bunch of Paige Lashes, which, um, you know, we're just going to go ahead and keep them because this was a super special thing that I got to do. So, you know, I, I want to keep these. And here's what they look like in case you guys didn't know. Super fun. Um, and then back here... We have Vicky, which is pretty intense, so those can go. We've got Trixie, another very intense lash. And then we've got Rose and Stella, both super pretty. But I'm gonna pass those along. And then we have Sugar, which is another really pretty lash. 
but once again I'm gonna pass those along and then back here I have some that were opened so we've got Bernadette Bianca candy cane rose and Sabrina so these ones are all opened and used, so I am gonna go ahead and pass all, well, not pass them along, but declutter them. So, now we have this drawer and this drawer. Let's kind of condense and see where we're at. So this drawer has two rows of lashes. You can see them all there, and then now this drawer is completely empty. Next, we will move on to this drawer, and I also have a bunch of lashes here that we're just gonna toss in here so for these um i have a ton of lashes and i'm probably just gonna speed through i'll pick out ones that i'm gonna keep um i will keep these glam light ones since those are pretty recent part of the michaela collection i've got some morphe ones so let me find my morphe lashes i'm gonna keep the rem beauty ones that i recently got so I have these Morphe ones, and I think I might keep the Morphe just because I can like talk about those and link them and you know, they're pretty up to date. I have a bunch of these lashes here which were sent to me and they're all so pretty, but unfortunately I don't even remember the brand name of these. So um, I am gonna go ahead and pass all of these along. I have my Pure and Raw Beauty Christie lashes. Oh boy. We've got those ones and those ones. Um, I kind of want to keep them because they're Raw Beauty Christie, but we will revisit that. I have an empty lash box that's going to go. I have some Tati lashes, which these ones are really nice. Um, I probably won't use <laughs> this style. They're super long. Um, some of these are, actually a lot of these are really long, so I'll look through those again in a second. I have another empty lash box. I have some Lily Lash glue that I don't need, so that can go, the empty box can go. We have some Lily Lashes here. These are like BoxyCharm ones, I think. Um, I'll go ahead and pass all of those along. These lashes have tinsel on them, which is really cool. They're from Sephora Collection, so I might keep those. We've got Potassium Cosmetics. I, You know I gotta keep Potassium Cosmetics. ColourPop and MAC. Um, we have these ones, which are London and Mykonos from Lily Lashes, but I probably won't use those, so I can get rid of those. Um, I honestly, like, Probably will get rid of most of these other ones. I have these fun Glamite ones, which I might set aside. These are all empty lash boxes that I bought. Like, how fun is that? <laughs> They're so sparkly and pretty too, but mm, I don't know. Why did I buy so many of them? These ColourPop little things can go. Um, and then I might look through a couple more of these, but I think most of them are going to be decluttered. So let me just kind of speed through this part. Okay, so here are the lashes I think I'm going to keep. We've got Tati, we've got Potassium Cosmetics, Morphe, REM Beauty, and Glam Light. So I'm gonna transfer all of these up. Oh, also one random MAC lash. <laughs> I'm gonna transfer these up to the rest of my lashes and hopefully everything fits. So this drawer is now empty. We finally have this drawer, which, um, I have to move this. We don't have a ton of lashes in here. Um, Glam Light, I am gonna keep. We have With Love Cosmetics. I'm gonna keep those. I have a Morphe, which these are pretty intense, so I think I might declutter those ones. These are fancy, these are velour lashes. I might, I'm gonna keep those. This is like a really bougie box, holy crap. Um, we have some other lashes, which I will key declutter. <laughs> I forgot I had all of these, but I have some Camilla Crystal K2 
candy cane. Um, those are all gonna go. Then I have a little D Stars lash book, which is really cute. I have this lash book, which these are these are the lashes that I wore when I met Jaclyn Hill forever ago. It's kind of weird that I kept them. Um, that was like one of the first times I ever wore lashes. <sighs> And then I have all of these lashes from Sephora. I totally forgot about this. And literally, I don't think I've used a single pair of these lashes. So, I used the lash glue. <laughs> but I'll declutter this big lash book. And I'll keep these two right here along with the With Love Cosmetics. And then I'll keep the... Morphe la empty lash book and the D-Star lashes empty lash book. So now all of my lashes are in this one drawer. I can probably go through this again, like when I'm packing or when I move. Um, they're not organized because I'm packing and moving and I'm gonna have to take these out anyway. But I am glad that I was able to get it all in one drawer. So these three drawers are completely empty. And then Here's just an overview of some of the stuff that I'm decluttering. We've got literally like so many lashes here. All of these will find a new home. And then I also have all of these lashes up here, which I am decluttering as well. All right, you guys. So here are all of the lashes that I am decluttering. There's literally so many lashes here. Like there's more. <laughs> So, these are all the lashes that are going to find a new home. Let me show you guys the rest of the stuff that we are decluttering from today's video. Alright, so everything in like this section over is what we are decluttering from today's video. Here is everything that I'm decluttering from my video yesterday and today. So, I don't know about you guys, but I think I did pretty good. <laughs> There's a ton of stuff here. Like, this is like piled high with stuff that is going, leaving my collection. So, that is going to be today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I should be back with another declutter video for you guys tomorrow. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.